Apparently, this is a popular question. What happens when you dissolve NaOH in water, and why does it give off heat? Or why is it an exothermic reaction? Well, the first thing I want you to know is that when you put NaOH in water, what's actually happening is that the water molecules are breaking apart the ionic structure of this compound. Waters are taking away Na plus ions and solvating them, i.e. you get an Na plus ion with waters all around it. I won't call these ligands because I don't think they're permanently attached, but I could be wrong. These waters surround it. Notice I've put the negative oxygen, the thing with the lone pairs, near the, or, ne yeah, near the sodium, because they'll be attracted to the plus charge of the sodium ion. And similarly, waters will surround OH minus ions. Here's my OH minus ion, and here's my waters surrounding it. The hydrogens of waters will be attracted to the negative oxygen, and the, the oxygens of water will be attracted to the hydrogen atom. So, as opposed to it being a reaction between the two, what's really happening is the water is breaking apart the ionic structure. Which leaves the question, why does it give off heat? Well, you need to understand how dissolving works to answer that question. Luckily for you, I do know, and I'm going to tell you. It's your lucky day. Anyways, so the first thing that happens that I want you to consider is that you're breaking apart Na plus ions and OH minus ions. Plus, minus, attracted to each other. To pull those apart from each other is going to require energy. It's like pulling apart two magnets that are stuck together. You've got to physically pull them apart. You need to put energy in, i.e. it's an endothermic process, if you're familiar with that word, to break these two ions apart. Secondly, you need to take the solvent, that's what it's dissolving into, in this case water, and kind of separate them from each other to make a little hole. What I mean by that is that you have water molecules piled on top of each other in solution, right? Kind of like that. They're all hydrogen bonded together. And you've got to break a couple of those hydrogen bonds in order to make a hole in the solvent that we will theoretically put the ions into. To pull the water molecules apart, you also have to put energy in, and it's also an endothermic process. So, so far we've broken apart the ionic structure and we've separated the water molecules from each other to make a little hole. We've only put energy in, but, once we fill that hole, I guess I'll have to write it here again, H2O, 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 with either a sodium ion or an OH minus ion, we get energy back out. If an Na plus is surrounded by waters, we have what's called an ion dipole intermolecular force. They're attracted to each other and they release energy when they come together. Same for OH minus, it's an ion reacting, or rather being attracted to a molecule with a dipole, a polar molecule. So we get ion dipole interactions. Plus we also get bonus hydrogen bonding between these two. So when they attach to each other, we also get energy out. These attractions give us energy out, which is an exothermic process. And to figure out whether anything dissolves in water is a matter of weighing how much energy you put in here and here in total and weighing it against how much energy you get out here. If the energy you put in is more than you get out, then energy was required 
to dissolve it. The temperature of the water will go down when you dissolve it in there. But with NaOH, when you put the solid NaOH into the water, you get more energy out than we put in total. So energy is released, the temperature of the water goes up. That's why it's an exothermic reaction. It gives off heat. If you're into exothermic endothermic, we say that the enthalpy of solvation is negative if energy is released overall. That is, step three is bigger than steps one and two put together in terms of amount of energy. That makes it an exothermic dissolving process. The exact opposite when delta H is positive, delta H solvation is positive, more energy needed to be put in than you got out. So overall, it's an endothermic process and the temperature of your water would go down. Pretty sweet, huh? I think I explained that pretty damn well. Leave me some great feedback in the comments and I'll see you later. Hey, best of luck.